Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, ugh, it's a big one. I'm getting it. I'm back. It's a big one-ish. Probably will be the only one this week because I do have some crafty stuff. Oh, there's a lot of bags here guys. Some crafty stuff that I would like to get out this week, but we'll see what happens. So let's get started. Uh, there's a lot of Christmas in here, which kind of makes me happy because I do like Christmas, but we'll just get started. No rhyme, no reason. I grabbed these little bags and they're smaller, which I like. I wonder if there's a sizing on here. No, they're not like the big bags. They're a smaller bag but they're green and they're kind of shiny and I'm gonna use them for Halloween for my cousin's candy that I bought them. So one for each child will get a bag with their name on it and maybe a little something something. And on that same vein, I picked up for them some of this candy and it's Sour Head. There's 35 pieces. It's Warheads, Sour Bubblegum Pops, Extreme Sour Hard Candy, Colossal Sours. I thought they would enjoy some of that. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, receipts. I found at my store, which I'm super excited about, the bamboo wreaths. Look at these. So they're different than the um, rosewood. And I think this one is 12 inches. And this one is... 12 inches. No, that's not right. I'm thinking this is 12 and maybe 8. Let's see. Oh, I'm so good. It is 8 inches. They just have the same tag. But I'm thinking snowman. Like a snowman wreath out of this. Attach it in the middle. Maybe. We'll see. But I grabbed two of them for a DIY. So that makes me happy. And I love how rustic they are. That's everything in that bag. Here, let's hang this here, and this will be my new trash bag for all this stuff. Ooh, Christmas. I found, and I only got two because I'm showing some restraint here. <gasps> Look at these with the, the frosted pine cone and a cotton and then some berries and the same on this one. So I only grabbed two. I'm thinking these are going to lay on my mantle. And I don't, I don't need to buy a million things. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need to. Oh, these slide up and down. But I'm thinking these will go well with the decor I already have. So I grabbed that. I bought a bag of these, but I ate them. These are the sugar-free um, Russell Stover. Yep, they're not great. I'm not going to lie. But every once in a while, and there's only three in here, so it took, I have one like one at a time. Okay, trash. I found this, and I'm very curious. Epsom salt foot gel. So, I don't know if you remember or not, but I work at the Ohio State University. And on Saturdays, I work at the football game. So yesterday, I got about eight miles walking. My feet were sore, and it's all on cement. I'm trying to figure out how to open this because I want to smell it. It's all on cement. So by the end of the night, my feet were just tired and sore. I even have insoles. Oh, it's peppermint. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm going to put this on before I go to bed tonight. We're going to see how it works. Um, it is Epsom, so it's a shirt brand, super soothing Epsom salt foot gel for swollen and achy feet, easy application, soothes, cools, and comforts, contains aloe. Wash feet before application, massage a small amount onto each foot and let dry. Storing in the refrigerator will help the cooling effect. Huh, interesting. I will assume it's the peppermint. Um, there's my, there is Epsom salt in it, glycerin, xanthan gum, menthol. Yeah, there's menthol in here. So I'm excited to see how this works. I'll let you know. Um, there's not a whole lot in here. It's just two ounces. But again, you just use a small amount. So I'm going to try this. Ooh, 
before I go to bed tonight and let you know how this works. But that made me happy. I found, which again makes me happy, a snowman. And look at it, it's like raised up here. And he has like a, a hat on, not too big, but not too tiny. And then they had the really cool Santa Claus. Um, I did buy two of these and I tried really hard to get these off. I was able to get them off, but it's, I will have to paint on this side, but I have a DIY coming up with one of these to paint different than a Santa face. I mean, it is a Santa face, but a different Santa face. And then I wanted to do one like that. So I grabbed one of each. I'm looking for the red truck because are the truck because I've seen that some folks were hauling it. Oh, I got cat treats, two bags. I'm out, so I need to go buy a big bag, but I was there, so I grabbed two bags. Wellington is super fussy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, some of this stuff is I want to show you after, but oh, these I'm excited about. I got two of this. I'm not exactly sure why she wrapped all of, like all this. It's plastic, not any other thing, but they have had these before, but not in the red. So I am excited. These are um, solar lights. And what I like to do, and I'm gonna put a piece of like a removable dot on the bottom and stick it in my bedroom window at Christmas time and it will, charge during the day and then it lights at night and then you don't have to worry about it the only issue i had last year was that it knocked over so um you can also use the emergency ones but you have to turn those on and off and i like that these are solar and i like that they're red so i grabbed two one for my each of my bedroom windows on the front side of my house um yeah so those are cute they came in red and black and i also like the shape of the bottom so that was a nice little fun decoration for my bedroom. And I do enjoy having um, the lights. Ew, I have Christmas tree all over me. The lights in my window. I grabbed two of these in the gray with the gray. Um, I'm sure you've seen them. They're supposed to be a rug. What I'm going to do is put them on my end tables in my bedroom. Uh, my room is that boho esque feel and gray is one of my colors you could totally make a pillow out of these but I have a lot of pillows like couch pillows so what I'm gonna do is use them as like a placemat but they're nice and big so they'll hang over the edge of my um, end tables in my room and if I don't like the way it looks I can make a really big pillow out of these as I did buy two of them or you can hot glue them in half and just have the fringe and make couch pillows. But I went to try them. The reason I bought them was to use them as like placemats. And I feel like I can wash these. Um, I get a fair amount of cat on my end table. And so I thought these would be fun. And I like the texture and the fabric and the, the um, gray tassels on the end. So I thought that was super pretty. So I grabbed two of those, and they're nice quality, too. All right, so I guess I didn't have as much as I thought I had. I mean, I have another bag, but I think I just had a lot of bags. Because, you know, I've been a few times to a couple different Dollar Trees, but I was trying to be selective in what I was purchasing. Um, I did not find like the whole section of the crafter square stuff, but I did find some items and look at these little spray bottles. Are these not perfect? And what I'm thinking about, I only grabbed one package. There is a craft with, you know, the reverse bleach. She sprayed the bleach water on shirts and I thought these would be perfect to, um, on the floor but that's okay I don't even know how much these would hold it just says oh they're two ounces each so that's perfect and they're just little spray bottles you could also put tie-dye in these I could put rubbing alcohol in them for my Cricut there's lots of stuff you can put in here uh, diluted paint would be fun to like do some projects I don't know where the other one went 
I'll have to find it later. It went flying behind me, but I grabbed two, a pack of those. And then I picked up some more glitter. I really enjoy these little packs of glitter um, for when I do like my cups and stuff with Mod Podge because it's just a nice little amount. It's obviously a dollar. But then I found these little containers that, um, and there's six colors of glitter and there's six containers. And they have, do you remember the old foam film containers? That's what these are like. And these I think will perfectly hold two little sachets of that uh, super fine glitter. And then when I'm ready to mix it, I can get, put them in here, mix it with the Mod Podge and then keep them in these cause they are airtight. So I may pack, you know, get another set of these depending. Um, I could also just do one sachet per container and then put Mod Podge and mix it up. But I think I'm just going to store glitter in here. But if I had leftovers, I would be able to do that because these are just tiny. But I'm almost 100% certain. Here, we'll do this. Because I will show you how these containers come. They're just in a plastic baggie like this. Um, and they're not resealable. But I did see that they sold baggies this size that are resealable at this one Dollar Tree that I went to. From what I understand, it's only going to be the larger Dollar Trees that are going to have this new crafter square section. But I've got several in my area. So well, that's perfect. Yeah, that's just one sachet of this super fine glitter. Heck, I could... Um, get 10 of them and probably fit in here, but I don't need that much glitter. That's the thing. There. Put the lid on it. Oops. I grab my, there we go, piece of plastic down in there. Oh, this is going to be perfect to store the glitters in. Um, and that is enough to do a decent sized project when you mix it with Mod Podge and paint. So what I do is I would take a bowl of Mod Podge and add the glitter until it's super thick and I paint that on instead of painting on the Mod Podge and sprinkling the glitter over. I go a different direction with it. Um, I just think it helps it stick better when you do it that way, but that's just me. So this is perfect. And I have other packets of this glitter that I need to hunt down. But what I'll do is for this set, I grab two of these, of these colors, and one package. So for $3, I will have six containers of glitter that I can see through. So I think that is perfect for crafting. Um, and then I picked up, random, who knew that they had baking soda, no, baking powder. And for keto cooking, I use a lot of baking powder and I'm almost out. So I said, girl, get you some baking powder. Now it does have cornstarch in it, but it's it's negligible. So yeah, I grabbed a thing and this is a big one. It's 8.1 ounces um, purchased by July 2nd of 2021. So this is well within date. So I grabbed that. Then I found, I know everybody was hauling these, but look at this one with the red truck. The only thing is there's glitter all over it, but I will work on that. I don't mind glitter. I don't like glitter flying all over the place. So I grabbed this one just to set out because, well, duh, look at the red truck. And then I picked up four of this one. And I don't particularly like the design on it, but what I'm going to do is sand it down or sand down, you know, get these stickers off. And what works for these is your hair dryer. Get it hot and these peel right off. So I'll probably just flip it around, do the back, take this twine off. I can always reattach more twine to it. Um, and I think I want to make either cover them with a different picture or paint them up and put a word like Noel. I grabbed four. So I could do Joy, I could do Noel, and then I could kind of sit them out. So I thought that would be fun. And for a dollar, you know, that's a good, for me, that's a good price. So that's a project I'm going to definitely have coming up. And I like that the sides are already white. I can tell you that the stuff on the front is paper because it's lifting off already. Um, you could also, yeah, see it's peeling off. 
Um, you can also take craft paper and cover these. If you have some really fun um, craft paper, like scrapbooking paper and cover them. But I really think I wanna paint them and do a word, but we'll see. We'll see how that comes to play at a later date. But I think that's everything that I've picked up so far. Um, let me look. Yeah, that's all my stuff. I'm gonna get it put away. I'm actually gonna load some videos and work on that painting project that I want to do. And I will talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.